always starts with a weapon. I have to be careful not to cut myself. Hmm. Let's stick this glass shard onto the mannequin arm and see what happens. These two seem made for each other. And what if I screw this skull on top to make it more sturdy? Done. The ultimate cat lady weapon. Has it worked? Ivy? No. You useless piece of junk. You worthless fucking shit. I wouldn't worry about it, mate. That girl was the size of a jet plane, and now she's out because she didn't want to play the game. That's pretty fair if you ask me. It's people like you who made her think this way. No matter how many times I told her she was beautiful, it was always there, this sickness, this twisted state of mind. It's all your fault. Your lies. Your idea of a perfect woman. But she was already perfect. Why can't you all fucking see that? The man never lies, Joe. Do you know what she saw looking in it? But she is nothing like that. Does it make now? You found a way to fix that, didn't you, Joe? Because you always knew what's best for her. She was starving herself to death! <laughs> well, you know what they say. No pain, no gain. I was just trying to save her. It's not your fault. Robbie, I'm so... I'm so sorry. I miss you. I know. And I'm sorry too. What do I do now? Don't bother, young man. He's already gone. But if he could answer that, he would have said, give up. This is the end. Accept it. And embrace it. This is not the end. I'll find another way. Naive little fool. You are the sixth parasite. And the sixth changes everything. I have no idea what you are talking about, you crazy woman. What's up, Joe? Missed me? I thought you were dead. Where were you? I kept looking for you, but I couldn't find you. Until now, that is. It's good to see you, Agnes. You know, I... I failed. She... She's dead. That's exactly why I'm here, Joe. You can't bring Ivy back because something is missing. And I know what it is. But... how? Because I finally got it. I know who I am. 
And I know why I'm here. You are that part of Ivy that I fell in love with. And that dress is the dress she got married to me in. Now you recognize it. I'm... I'm a bloke. I don't think about dresses much. But I remember it now. Good. Then there's only one thing left to do. But... No. You can't. It's okay, Joe. Just switch it on. Let's bring her back to life. Joe. If this works... Be good to her. I would never hurt you, and you know that. We can start again here. When you smile, I feel like the happiest man alive. It's the way you look when you sleep. I can imagine spending the rest of my life with you. I've been... making myself sick. We can beat this shit together, Ives. Are you mad at me? I could never be mad at you. But I happen to have a zero tolerance for sons of bitches. Poor girl. I was too late to save you. You're late. Mrs. A? I heard noises and... Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fresh as a daisy. And I managed just fine on my own, thank you. What kind of trouble did you get yourself into this time? Uh, the usual. Just another human parasite. You killed Joe Davis? Afraid so. Turns out we were living next door to a psychopath. Just look at what he did to his wife. Oh, holy shit. She's nothing but skin and bones. Has he been starving her? Well, pardon me. I forgot to ask him. I guess we're done here. Time to call the cops. Yeah. Can you do that? They never really listen to what I've got to say. Sure. I'll be right back. What? She's got a pulse. We need an ambulance. Mitzi! She's gone already. Gorgeous. Can you 
help me get out of here. Good. 